my name is Ben Norman and I'm the MD here at Kuzai. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about pushing your brand on Twitter. Now there's a lot of business out there using Twitter already to engage with their clients, suppliers um, and peers and just generally network. Um, really good useful tool, I uh, suggest it to every brand no matter what niche you're in. It's a, it's a very useful advertising vertical and it's very useful for helping you brand yourself online. So. I'm going to start off with usernames. Now, there's big problems at the moment getting usernames on Twitter because there's a lot of cyber squatting going on, people registering the username, uh, not using it and waiting for someone to make them an offer and, and buy them. Uh, it doesn't really help when you're trying to, say, uh, register your name and it's quite a generic name. Chances are it probably has gone. Now, the way that we register names on Twitter um, to help in a branding perspective, we will always register the name with um, the company name, so Kuzai, we'll then go underscore and then the employee's first name. Now, um, we do that for two reasons. One, we always want to try and push the brand and make sure that people are clear that this person represents Kuzai. Um, and also, we want the person's name on there, um, just the first name normally, unless there's two people with the same name, we can't help that and it just gives it a bit more of a personal feel but professional at the same time and it really helps with actually trying to find a name to register on uh, Twitter. Secondly is bios and links. You obviously want to include a link back to the company site uh, from every Twitter account that your company has. Uh, in the bio you also want to make it very clear that this person works for the company, what role it's in, um, what they do and what their interests are. They might not all be company related, but you need to show some personality within it. It's just very important that you also represent the company um, so that it's consistent across the board and it's very clear. Next is backgrounds and designs. This is the one that I'm always amazed with. Uh, the amount of companies that will have quite a few employees on Twitter that will be going around trying to do a brand building exercise. But when you actually go to their Twitter profile, there will be some random abstract image or background picture that, that doesn't represent the company or the brand at all. And it can be very confusing if you don't read the small print, i.e. the Twitter username or any of the bio to actually realize this, this person is representing the company. So you imagine if you've got an employee that is fantastic at networking out there, but people aren't really drawing that connection. You know, it is really important to make sure that it is crystal clear when someone hits that profile that they work for your company, they are part of your brand, and it will help you um, develop that brand online. Um, following, now, some companies will have uh, specific rules about who you should follow. You should only follow people within the industry or this niche or, or this kind of client set. You know, you need to show some personality in your following. You know, we're not robots. And it's important that you have um, personality within your Twitter account because it will help you gain followers. You don't want to look like you're doing this just to canvas people from your own niche. Of course you do because you want to network with them and meet them and, and talk to them online. So, but it's just important to get that mix. Um, so you know, we recommend, yes, you want to follow lots of people within the given niche or the people you're targeting. If you've got salespeople, they're going to want to go and target lots of new kind of businesses and people in the right roles within those businesses. But you, you need to allow people a bit of freedom to have some fun with it as well and put some personality across in their tweets. Um, networking, of course, following on, it's what Twitter's there for. You know, we use it to network with prospective clients. Uh, people asking questions you know, that are confused about a certain area of search or link building or a certain bit of terminology. You can engage with them and be helpful. Not sell to them, just be helpful. Because later on when they're trying to make that decision, they've seen your Twitter profile, they've seen the background picture and the username and, and that name will stick. And you know, when they are coming to make that decision and they see you again, they should remember. You know, and it, it really helps. So encourage people to network. Don't limit it to just one or two people within the company. You know, we, we roll Twitter out across the board so that everybody within the organization is free to use it and go and network. And the benefit we get from that, I believe, is substantial. When we go to conferences, people will recognize us from our Twitter profiles. 
and you know when you're talking to clients they will have seen they may have seen you online you know from those twitter profiles and you know if you allow people that freedom to roam you can pick up business contacts you know in the strangest of places on twitter just from being helpful so that's the way that we do it here at Kuzai. Um, hope that's been helpful for you. If you want to see more of these, then go over to our YouTube channel um, or follow us on Twitter or, or check out the blog. Thanks a lot.